Hello, David4040 here, and today I'm doing another ship's roster review. Today we are looking at Hoofhearted ships. So let's just take a look at the current fleet arena that Hoofhearted is using. He's using Chimera alongside the Ghost, Houndstooth, and TIE Silencer. And he has the um, Phantom as his first reinforcement, followed by TIE Advance, Slave 1. I believe that's Biggs' X-Wing, unless it's Wedges as a Houndstooth counter. And he seems to be averaging 22 uh, every day, which is really good, though we'd like to get that average up into the 20s. Um, and he definitely has the capability potentially getting up in, in the fleet some more. Um, so just looking at this current fleet, if I had to suggest anything, so maybe on defense, try using TIE Advance in place of TIE Silencer and find a different ship uh, to put where where the TIE Advanced is on defense. But other than that, I think you're doing a fairly good job at the moment. And it's really more about what ships at this point do you need to develop to get your fleet better. So let's actually go and take a look at that. The first thing I want to take a look at is capital ships just because that's important for any fleet you have. And you obviously seem to have the Chimera the most maxed out. Um, and from looking around I noticed that you've already done a good amount of work on your home one abilities. You just really have band together left which is because you don't have your Akbar geared up. And then the other important capital ship is Executrix, which you seem to be working on, which is excellent. I would say once you finish working on Executrix, and if you still haven't geared up Akbar yet to finish Band Together, go ahead and work on Endurance instead of saving up for future capital ships, because Endurance itself is an excellent defensive capital ship, especially for Territory Wars. Not really in arena, um, but in territory wars and possibly even grand arena, it, it makes an excellent defensive fleet. Um, but what you're going to want to use in the future, uh, we have a couple things. First, we, we're going to need to get you to the Millennium Falcon. So for that, I'm going to take a look at your bounty hunters real quick. And you have Hound's Tooth and Slave One up, and you will probably have Hound's Tooth seven star pretty soon. But Hoofhearted, if you want to make sure you can stay in fleet for the long run, you're going to want to work on Xanadu Blood and IG two thousand. Honestly, Xanadu Blood is an excellent ship anyhow, so getting Xanadu Blood up is not going to hurt you. The other thing is IG-2000 works great in a bounty hunter fleet if you're when you're trying to make three to four different fleets for territory wars. So that one doesn't hurt to gear to work on either. And either way, you have to get them both seven star eventually so that you can get a seven star falcon. So better to work on these sooner than later. Yes, they are hard node farms, but hopefully... Uh, you can at least, if you start working on them now, get the Falcon 5 star the next time it comes around. So if you're going to be working towards the Falcon, what you're also going to want are Rebel ships. So let's just go and take a look at your Rebels. So what I see here is, first off, the two most important of these Rebel ships, considering you have Bigs up is going to be Ghost and Phantom. The Phantom being the more important one because it is an excellent reinforcement and should be always be used in your best fleet as your first reinforcement. Um, and what I'm seeing here is more that you just need to gear up Chopper and Sabine at least to gear 11 so that you can max out their abilities and give this ship some more speed and power behind it. Um, also, just as a tip, always make sure you have 5 dot level 15 mods on any ship's character. Doesn't matter what mods, just 5 dot level 15. 
But gear up Sabine and Chopper to gear 11. That should help you out a bit. And remember, Phoenix is a decent team, especially for territory battles. And a lot of people will use it on defense and territory wars. So it hopefully would not hurt there. The other thing is the Ghost. I suggest getting Kanan and Zeb both up to gear 11 as well so that you can max out the abilities on the ship. And Ghost also has a wide variety of uses in the game, whether it's as a reinforcement or starting ship in different fleets. And it's excellent in a rebel fleet. So you really should work on those. Um, you also need, once you start working on, once you decide to work on Xanadu Blood and IG-2000, to start starring them up is when you need to start gearing Akbar. Because if you're making your moves to a rebel fleet, then you're going to have to have Akbar. So make sure you gear up Akbar. Now the other two important ships here are going to be Kassin Jewing and Biston Jewing. You can go after Biston Jewing if you want. It makes for the best rebel fleets. But really the more essential of these two uh, just so that you can at least have a good offensive fleet is going to be Cassian Jewing. It dispels with its reinforcement on everything, which is powerful, and you already have that maxed out. And gear up these characters to at least gear 11. For ships, I think, for a free-to-play player, gear 11 is reasonable, especially if it's not one of your starting three ships. I would say starting three ships should have gear 12, Reinforcement gear 11 minimum. Um, in my opinion, that makes for decent free to play fleets. Um, but I also want to note that Rogue One characters are needed in light side territory battles right now. Uh, they are required for several of the platoon missions, including one in Territory 6 of platoons. I mean, not platoon missions, but you get why I'm saying. They're required for the fighting missions. And uh, you're, you have to have them geared up in order to do decently at those missions. So I do suggest working on these characters for other parts of the game as well anyhow. So it's kind of a two for one, knock out two birds with one stone. You, you get a better team for other parts of the game while improving it for... Uh, ships as well that's kind of my goal with fleet is to find those type of teams um, now however that you have your goal which is to develop out this rebel fleet develop out the bounty hunters to get there we would like to give you a more short term feasible goal to meet uh, for a f maybe intermediary fleet on your way and the first of those uh, is going to be pretty similar to what you have now, uh, except for Executrix will be the capital ship. And then the other ships in the starting three are going to be Ghost, like you have now, um, Xanadu Blood, or Xanadu Blood, and Hound's Tooth. So what you're really missing in this fleet is the Xanadu Blood. And this is a great fleet. You can keep your reinforcements as is or change them up as you want. Uh, but I'm more focusing on what your starting possible three options here could be. Uh, but Xanadu Blood really should be in this fleet composition. If you don't want to do Xanadu Blood, Anakin's ETA. But remember, you have to have Xanadu Blood for the Seven Star Falcon which makes it the better option to go with. However, you probably won't have this four or five stars before you start using it in fleet. So up to you on whether or not that's a good option. Now, and you'd also want to gear up Cad Bane, which if you don't have Chewbacca yet, you may want to do. Let me just um, go back and check where you are on Chewie, because if you don't have Chewbacca, then you're going to want to have Chewbacca. So you have Chewie, perfect. Uh, gear, gear up Chewie, whatnot, as you're getting closer to getting the Falcon, just like I said to do with Home 1. 
but Xanadu blood will be necessary to get there, and you'll want to gear up Cad Bane if you're going to be using the Xanadu blood. Okay, so that's one of your starting options is Executrix with Houndstooth, Ghost, uh, Xanadu blood, Phantom as a reinforcement, and then Tide Advance as a reinforcement, so on and so on. Um, but there's another option, and we're going to go back to the filters here. And you can do the geos. Uh, you could, what really this is going to require for you is starring them and gearing them up to gear 11 and 12. Um, your starting ships should include Houndstooth, uh, Geonosian Soldier, then either Sun Fact or Geo Spy, with the other one being a reinforcement. Uh, this is another great fleet, probably an improvement on what you have, since what you have is probably a part of an older meta. However, again, this is an intermediary fleet, so the difference between this and Xanadu Blood is you already have Cad Bane 7 Star. problem is you don't have the ship 7 Star. Whereas with this, you have two ships not 7 Star yet, and all three characters not 7 Star, and it's a lot more characters to gear. So Xanadu Blood option is probably the easier option at this point in time. Now I've told you to gear characters for ships. And the importance of this is this is going to give multiple things. It's going to give the ship more health and protection. It's going to give the ship more speed. It's going to give the ship more offense. This overall improves the ship's stats, essentially. Um, just having these characters at lower gear levels and having the specific characters you need up for the good abilities isn't going to do everything you need it to do because the ship can still be strengthened and made better so that you can deal more damage so that you can uh, take turns more often um, so I w would really consider gearing up these characters so that you can use their ships to a better degree. Um, I personally am not going to give you advice I myself would not follow. So I think these are great options. If you have any questions for me about these teams I suggested, feel free to reach out. If you have questions about other parts of ships, like what makes the best defensive territory wars fleet, that sort of thing, reach out to me later. Um, but for now, I think if your goal is improvement in the fleet arena, uh, that your long-term goal is going to be a Rebels fleet uh, that will consist of Houndstooth, Millennium Falcon, Biggs or Ewing or Ghost or whoever as a third one, and then just a bunch of Rebel reinforcements with Phantom as your first reinforcement would make an excellent fleet in the long term. In the short term, you can improve that by working on your executrix and and um, working on your Xanadu blood to improve the fleet. Um, so that that's really about it uh, for you hoofarted. If you have any questions, again, you can reach out to me on Discord like you already have, and I'll feel free to answer them, and then if like four or five months from now, you feel like you've advanced enough or you have more questions, I can do another roster review for you again. Uh, but have a good day. This is David4040 signing out.